Chris Lindstrom, Chris Lindstrom. guard to the Falcons as a uh, potential investor in Falcons Super Bowl futures. This one is a head Couldn't scratcher. Head scratcher to me. The value at guard is very interesting. A team that couldn't have covered you or I, Mike, if we were out there at wide receiver. There, of course, are all the cornerbacks on the board. There are safeties on the board. Um, and they go here with a guard. It obviously has to be a scheme fit here. Is that at least what you see with Lindstrom? Yeah, I mean, Lindstrom, very athletic. And the Falcons covered athleticism along that offensive line. Uh, one of my buddies used to play linebacker for the Lions, and they had the fastest offensive line in the league a couple years ago. But now they don't after having lost Ryan Schrader, having lost Andy Levitre there at left guard. So all of a sudden that what was a strength now looks like a weakness, and they're mm-hmm. trying to get it back to where it was when they did have those high-level offenses. Yep. In Atlanta, very athletic, in my, for my money, the best pass protecting guard in this class, uses his hands extremely well, and he, he could even sneakily be the option for them at right tackle. Uh, I know, you know Ryan Schrader just fell off a cliff last season, parted ways with him. Lindstrom played right tackle back in 2017 at Boston College, has the length, 34-plus inch arms. I kick him back out there, and that could be the answer at right tackle because Positional value ask if you're drafting a guard, we didn't have him this high. We we yeah. had him more as a late first round, early second round. Yeah. But I, then I have to ask, they're Dillard, Taylor, you know, Rizzo. Guys who played tackle. Uh, play, yeah. Played tackle. So, like, is that, you know, if he does play tackle, where are you putting him ahead of those guys? No, so I'm not. Okay. Because what we saw from that tackle at Boston College wasn't spectacular. Okay. I mean, there was a reason why even Boston College kind of moved him inside. Moved guard. But he could go back okay. outside. I'm not saying it's impossible. Uh, but I can see why you wouldn't have Jawan Taylor over him because of the athleticism aspect. Dillard himself was a fantastic athlete, but he played on the left side. Maybe you want to stick a guy who still is on the right side, stay on the right side. So from that perspective, maybe, but I still, it still feels like a reason. This is all. Awesome.